Welcome back, everybody, to the Arizona Cardinals franchise. We're going to get through the preseason here today and uh, prepare ourselves for season number two to begin. So preseason, really just we're going to go through this as quickly as possible, I would think. Uh, not too many, I would say, position battles per se. It's just really seeing how some of these young guys will absolutely perform. Uh, you know, who's going to be maybe a number three quarterback? See all the running backs. See Mostert, Edwards in action. Now, I'll tell you right now, Kyler Murray will not be in action. Same thing with Marvin Harrison Jr. They're not going to be in action. And honestly, I wish they would have changed it because, you know, really no big-time starters really even play preseason anymore, which to me is a mistake. I think that's why the first couple weeks of the regular season, it's just poor play. You know, they're not in a rhythm yet, in my opinion, I just feel like you have to play at least one game of preseason to really get it done here. But in reality, I mean, that's never just going to happen ever. I mean, you're not going to get, you know, big time quarterbacks to play preseason games for very long at all. Really big time players. Maybe you can get like Abdul Carter, a first round draft pick in there for sure. But Kyler's not going to play. Marvin Harrison Jr. is not going to play. There's just no really reason to risk that injury you know, in preseason, which you do have injuries on. Don't turn injuries off during the preseason. Injuries are on. So for me, you know, I don't really want to put those guys out there. I'd rather just see some of the young guys step up because with injuries in football, I'd rather see so some of these guys, can they make the team? Can they make an impact? If they are put into a starting role, will they be good enough on this team? And that's what we're really going to see. Corner, we got a lot of depth. It's going to be interesting to see there. Linebacker Buchanan, another undrafted rookie free agent. I want to see how they steps up because uh, obviously, it is, uh, like I've said this many a times, maybe my favorite position in football, middle linebacker or safety. I mean, that's what happens when you grow up watching Ed Reed and Ray Lewis. So, you know, I want to see how those positions perform. But we got some training camp as well. We have some uh, scenarios here. So he's back from his offseason workout, Kyler Murray. What was it? Short accuracy? And it was something else. Maybe throw on the run. Throw deep accuracy, medium and short, along with throw under pressure, plus two. So there you go. Plus three to deep, mid and short, and plus two to pressure. So that is good. Kyler continues to improve. Uh, if you saw last time, it was at Marvin Harrison Jr. Wasn't a big fan of that. So uh, he wanted us to get out to get a, you know, star quarterback. Well, I mean, Kyler continues to improve. So hopefully, you know, we convinced him that doesn't need to be with that. But there you go. So here is our training camps. We're going to go through this a lot quicker. Just going to see, highlight this one really quickly. So we got Silver on the last rep, rep with Kyler Murray. Uh, there's no reason going in-depth with this. I'm just going to go through this quickly. Now the pocket presence. Joe Milton is going to be our backup. And he, hey, can't, coming into that, you know, fight that playoff game, you know, Murray goes out, Milton comes in, steps in. You know, he threw a pick, but I thought what he had to deal with coming in was solid. I mean, that was only his rookie season. So, I think he's going to be a solid backup. Continue. We obviously know he has the arm strength for sure and can get out of the pocket and make some moves there. Just continue to work on the accuracy. And uh, hopefully Milton can be solid for us. Just in case Kyler has had some injury problems in the past. And we'll obviously see Milton here in the preseason. There's Donovan Edwards. Second round pick. He's definitely going to get a big chance for sure. As this drill is so easy. You already have 91,000 points. I'm just messing around here. We'll get tackled to end it, but we easily get gold at 93,000 points. Just ridiculous. Get that skill point as well. Let's go to a wide receiver, wide receiver battle. Hmm. I think Warren will do the red zone attack. Let's do Antoine Wells Jr. Let's see what he's got. Another free agent pickup here outside i believe this drill to me is pretty simple as well you kind of just lead them up lean in a little bit cut the outside you always get that bonus not that big of a deal there yeah red zone attack let's do tyler warren now i'm gonna have to change some numbers around we're gonna probably get him to 44 at some point i'm always always bad at that i just never forget when you go into the game always sometimes forget to change the numbers around but we'll have to get him to 44 i know owen popo has 44 at the moment but I don't think that's too much of a change there. All right, pocket protector. I guess we'll do the rookie drafted Holski. See what we can do here. This one is, I would say, I think this is almost the toughest drill. I mean, trench battle maybe if you kind of miss out on some of the plus ones. But man, 
You got to be quick on this one. We did get gold, 32,000 points there. As we get the skill point, we'll absolutely take that one. Well, maybe the corner, st the corner stuff is not easy. Covering, that one is very ridiculous. All right, let's do final rep remaining here for Abdul Carter. He is ripping through these guys. I don't know if that's good to see Abdul Carter doing that or just showing how bad our offensive line is. I'm not sure. Oh, that was an instant tackle him there, and that's going to be gold. So we'll get gold for Abdul Carter, get the skill point. And let's keep moving on here. Chase and tackle, pretty easy. I think we do. You know what? I'm actually going to continue with Mac Wilson. I know he got up to star dev. I, I mean, he almost should be a superstar, but he's only a 75 overall. Now I have messed with XP sliders on here. I think I got some from Operation Sports, but man, I'll tell you what: if a guy has a season like Mac Wilson, I don't understand how he's not an 80 plus overall easily. It's something I might have to go in there and just check and really make sure that rookie of the years definitely get a big time upgrade. Because if you think about it. Say a rookie comes in, highly touted rookie. Say he's like a 74, 75 overall to start off his, you know, if you start year one, and then you go to next year's Madden cycle, next game, say he had a fantastic season, I guarantee he's going to be like an 85, 86 overall. So to me, I think something I'll have to definitely look at going forward. Guys up there, defensive, you know, player award, offensive player, any award system, I'll have to look at it and try to upgrade it myself if they haven't got it because it should be better than that. We got silver in the DB battle. This DB battle red zone defense. Let's do Malachi more. These, this might be the hardest drill. Trying to figure out the routes. Uh, sometimes the time is a little bit off, but we do have gold. Just got to make sure we maintain it. He's going to do a wheel route. That's going to be overthrown, I think. Oh, but Malachi Moore is there to catch up. Knocks it away, and we do get gold at a skill point with Malachi Moore. So that works out. I'm not going to do any of the kicking. We're good there. There's no reason to really do any of the kicking. I think we'll completely skip that. So that is going to be your training camp. We'll end that there, and I think it's just time to get into preseason game number one. So here we go. We're going to hop right in, taking on the Baltimore Ravens. They'll have their starting defense out. So, and, and plus they're starting offense with Lamar Jackson. So that is going to be interesting. As there is Brownlee with the reception. So, and we'll see. We'll, we'll see some of these guys step up, see what they can do here in this preseason. Is Trey Benson with the carry. And what will the running back rotation be? Benson will obviously be your starter. But with Mostert, Donovan Edwards, I want to make sure these guys get the carries as well. That's why I think I'm more focused on being a little bit more of a run attack team. That'll protect Kyler. More explosive down the field and play action. I mean, I, that could work out in our favor, and it really helps out our defense, you know, limit possession. So if we can get that running attack going, that would be absolutely fantastic. As we're driving down the field here, and we're going to score! Tyler Warren in for the touchdown, and a really good drive. Joe Milton leading this offense. I mean, Michael Wilson's still in there. Really, it's just Kyler and Marvin Harrison Jr. aren't in there. But, man, nice first drive in the touchdown. Here comes Donovan Edwards. On a second and six, gets around the edge. Nice blocking. That's going to be a first down. Liking what I'm seeing there from... Really, like I said, we're, we're taking on a first-team defense here in Baltimore. Now, I'm not sure what type of changes they have made on the defense, but obviously you got... Guy like Kyle Hamilton Jr., probably the uh, best safety in football. Solid corner in Marlon Humphrey and Brandon Stevens. You know, Roquan Smith back there. Pass rush, not the greatest. But you do have Namdi Matabike, who is, you know, an absolute beast in the front. As that is a mistake. And that's going to be picked off. Not what you want to see there. I believe that might be TJ Tampa with the interception. So not a good decision on that throw. As now, you can see they, believe, have some of the backups in. So we now have backups in the game as we almost at halftime. Like I said, I'll move through these preseason games pretty quickly. Nice job there on the back end to knock that one away. As you can see, Demerson missed all last season. So getting some playing time, probably going to be the backups free safety this year. 20 seconds left here in this first half. Going over is Buchanan and a nice tackle. He's got the speed. Coming over, making the stop. 
So I think he has a real chance to make this team. There is no doubt about it. Real chance, and you make plays like that, I think you're going to definitely be in there. So first and 10 to start off this half, and there's Buchanan filling the well. In there for the stop. That's what you like to see, man. Making some good read reactions. Good tackle. Third and 11. Here comes the blitz off the edge. Xavier Thomas. So that is one thing, too. I know we have Abdul Carter. We have BJ Ujolari, who's now a superstar dev. Who was another guy we can bring in to be a big-time pass rusher, to really help it out? As Edwards has got some running room and around the edge, that is kind of his game, man, using that speed. But who's another pass rusher? And if Xavier Thomas can step up and be that guy, that's what we want to see. So we got 3.30 left in this game. Wins and losses to me, not that big of a deal. Oh, nice job. RPO doesn't work out. Look who it is. Thomas again. Another sack. So right now he is stepping up and showing that he is deserving of some more playing time for sure. Third and eight. It's going to be Thomas again. So sack number three for him in this ball game. And that would force a Ravens punt. But they would get the ball back. Kick a field goal with Justin Tucker because obviously he has got some big time range and they would win this game. Milton 6 of 8 with a touchdown, but Emory Jones 3 of 14 and Clayton Toon 3 of 11. So right now, as for a third quarterback, I'm not too impressed at the moment. Edwards 10 for 55. He looked really good. Benson with a couple nice carries. And yeah, Tyler Warren with the touchdown reception. Brownlee, yeah, a couple good catches, two for 33. And defensively, you saw Xavier Thomas with the three sacks. So nice to see there. Abdul Carter didn't make too many plays, but we saw Buchanan make some nice stops. And we're into seat week number two here of this preseason. We got some more storylines here. Let's go over. Let's take a look. As I saw, the Ravens have traded Isaiah Likely to the Washington Commanders. That is insane. For a sixth round pick and a tight end as well. And then Jordan Davis is going to the Bills. Some insane trades just happening there in the NFL. But as you can see, preseason game number two. We just kind of went through it really quickly. No real highlights for this one. But Milton, 197, 6 of 10 and a touchdown. Clayton Toon, not very good. 2 of 4, but not too much. But yeah, Mostert, 5 for 53 and a touchdown. And Donovan Edwards, average not the greatest, but scores a couple of times. Benson, 5 for 14. But Antoine Wells, 3 for 128 and a TD. Had a catch of 69 yards for a touchdown. Warren, 3 for 82. So, Wells looking pretty solid. Looks like Thomas had himself another sack. Same with the rookie, Xavion Jones. So, Good to see. I mean, that's Savion Jones. He's not going to be, you know, maybe more of a run stopper, but if we can get some sacks out of it, and there's Max Melton getting a pick as well. So that'll move us into preseason game number three, the final one of this preseason. But let's continue with the storylines and see what we got here. All right, coach. There is Jason Brown. You're all the way pretty obvious that he has showed up in camp out of shape. I don't know. He had a pretty good first preseason game. Let's, I guess, talk to him. I Man, you could skip it, not bother. That's crazy. All right, let's talk to him. Got to know his personality, which we did look up, and I believe it was um, unpredictable. All right, hey, what's going on with you? Let's let's find you come out of. Heard you showed up out of shape, which I mean, I don't know. Just didn't put in the work this off season like I have in the past. Now I don't know how much time he's going to really get. Um, I guess you're too underpredictable, so. That hurts your preparation. I mean, he has an unpredictable personality. So that's what we got to go with. More consistent. Some of these things are so hilarious. Personally, it gets in the way sometimes. I'll start the regular season strong. All right, it worked out. Um, plus three to catching, catching traffic, and break tackle for the next three games. How much playing time is he really going to get? I don't know. But, you know, at least we'll get that little boost for Jason Brownlee. All right, let's go into this game against Kansas City. Maybe, um, you know, one of the best offenses of football is Abdul Carter with a nice run stop on Pacheco. But as you can see, Kansas City just goes down the field. Mahomes, fire, caught. Hollywood Brown with the touchdown catch. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think we're going to be able to keep, compete with Kansas City. I just don't think so. I mean, even we saw Baltimore, we saw Lamar Jackson for like a drive. 
and they got a field goal out of it. I, I you know, I still think where our defense is at, if we face top line offenses, like if we come against Detroit, I think we're in trouble. There's no doubt about it. I don't know how we're going to defend them. We're going to have that. That's what I'm saying. If we can utilize the run game to our favor, that's what we're going to have to do. Really limit possessions as Mostert fumbles there, but it's going to be recovered by us. If we can just limit those possessions and you get one or two stops, I mean, you limit to maybe like six possessions a game, get a couple stops and make sure you score on most of them. That's how, you know, we definitely have an offense that can score. It's just defensively, you saw near the end of the year. I mean, it was kind of that middle stretch where we played some really good games, but beginning of last season, somehow we escaped with that opening one against Buffalo. In some of those games, I'm not sure how we won as Mostert in for the touchdown. And at the end of the year, end of the year, it kind of fell apart as well. So uh, you know, we still have so much young talent on this defense, but when we come against offenses like this, I think we're going to struggle. That's for sure. We've got to re really rely on a guy like that, Abdul Carter and B.J. Ojolari. These guys are going to have to take over games and give us a really big time pass rush to make sure you know we can stop offenses, especially on big third downs. As Michael Wilson with the grab, and he is a little bit shaken up. Probably should have been out of there. Really should have been out of there, but he is shaken up, going to the locker room. Hopefully he is okay. As Edwards with a solid run. Edwards has got himself a first down. He is running pretty good here so far in this preseason. I'm liking what I'm seeing from Donovan Edwards. Any injury update? It is an Achilles tear for Michael Wilson. He's done. Well, that changes up a lot. Well, now, there is Brownlee with the catch. Looks like Brownlee's going to get some playing time. I know Odell, obviously, who you're not seeing in this preseason, who we signed in the offseason to be more of a mentor guy, be a number three, four receiver, just to kind of help out everybody. As Brownlee with a nice catch on that screen. He's up to the nine. But now Odell's going to probably move into two because he, he thought he had Wilson and... Marvin Harrison Jr., but now, well, that's going to make Mostert with the abdominal street is fine. That's going to make Tyler Warren and McBride even more so into the offense. It's up the middle and the run game. Man, that changes the offense. Because Michael Wilson, when Marvin Harrison Jr. went down last year, I mean, he was the guy. He stepped up, played very well, was a really good receiver for us. And now he's not there. But, man, look at Jason Brownlee. I mean, he's performing. He's stepping up after kind of being called out, saying he was out of shape. He's looking good here in this preseason game. That is very good to see. But that's devastating news. Michael Carter is done for the season. And a great throw for the touchdown. Is that Jimmy Horn Jr.? I'm not sure if he'll make this team. Probably a practice squad guy, but he guys the catch for the touchdown. And that is why, I guess I was saying earlier, even though I feel like you got to get at least a drive in just to kind of get a rhythm going of real action, but imagine Patrick Mahomes out there in preseason like he is here, takes one bad hit, maybe he scrambles, takes the wrong step, and next thing you know, Patrick Mahomes is torn an ACL or an Achilles, and he's done for the season. I mean, your season is over. And I know that can happen in a week one or a week two game, don't get me wrong, but... Just It just doesn't feel right when it's in the preseason. It just definitely doesn't. It's one thing if it happens in a week two game and it's in action and just one of those things. But, man, that it would preseason, that's devastating. As Edwards getting a good run but getting some crazy blocks. Was that rhyme in there with just absolutely just destroyed that linebacker? I mean, he depleted him. As Emory Jones, though, has looked a little better in this preseason game. Underneath, there's Brownlee again, close to another first down as Kansas City calls a timeout. So we're about a first down away from ending this game and getting a victory here against Kansas City. We'll go to Jaquindon Jackson up the middle. He has himself the first down, and that might be about it here. We're probably going to come out of victory here against Kansas City in this final preseason game, and we do. 21-14 is your final. So I've seen some good stuff, but coming out of this preseason game, you don't feel very good. You now have lost your number two receiver 
for the entire season. So now we're going to have to definitely make a roster move. But yeah, Milton 8 or 14, 106 in the touchdown. And Emory Jones 7, 11, 91 yards. Um, if we do have a third quarterback, he's going to be the guy. Edwards 15 for 73, the bulk of the carries. But Mostert 7 for 32. And then Jackson 3 for 20 there at the end. Yeah, Brantley 6 for 84, solid. Warren 3 for 36. And Jimmy Horn Jr. 2 for 35 and a touchdown. McBride had a couple catches, so yeah, the the two tight end sets are going to be a little bit more prevalent, I believe, going into the season. I mean, there already were with Tyler Warren getting drafted, and obviously Trey McBride is fantastic. But now, man, that's definitely going to have to be a thing. No interceptions, no sacks to end it off, but yeah, he is done for the season. So we'll definitely have to put him on IR. That'll open up a roster spot. Man. Can't remember the last time I've had a season-ending injury. Um, it's got to be the first in a while. So, yeah, Odell's going to have to step up to be two. Brownlee is definitely at playing time, but I don't know if I trust Wells, Palmer, or Jeremy Horn Jr. I just don't. I, Brownlee, from what I just saw there, I think I can trust him. The rest of the guys, eh. So, looking at the trade block for receiver, there are some guys I like in here. There definitely is. <laughs> Burton, man, he is just... Jermaine Burton, I don't know. I mean, gee, Sky Moore, I like. Calvin Austin's not too bad. Parker Washington, I think, could be okay. Luke McCaffrey. Um, yeah, there's guys on this list. Ushivas, Johnny Wilson. But I'm going to tell you right now, I try to make a move for... Any of these guys. I looked at the trade block. I, I went through it. I tried to make some moves. Just the draft picks that they wanted or some of the players were absolutely ridiculous. Like, I think Sky Moore, I did a trade finder, and they wanted BJ Ojolari. That's insane. There's no way. So we just went to free agency, and we got Greg Dortch, who knows the system, was here last year, played well, and we're just going to re-sign Greg Dortch. So that'll get us a little bit more depth. And uh, that's probably what we're going to be going with. But, man, that's devastating Michael Wilson out for the season. All right, we're going to go to the practice field here. Obviously finish out this preseason. Talk about the team's identity going into the season. What can they expect from the offense this season? I would say more running. No doubt it. No doubt about it. Yeah, maybe a physical run game. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to be physical. We're going to run the ball. Uh, what would a successful season look like? We'll see. Yards, touchdown possible. 20 touchdowns or average 100 yards a game. 100 yards a game. We can do that. Especially with Kyler running a little bit. I think we can easily average 100 yards a game. No doubt about it. So, check at the end of the season, but I think we'll be good there. Um, we should. With the running attack that I think we're going to have, we definitely should. All right, we got to cut some guys now. Got to cut 13 players, but a bunch of these are going to just go on the practice squad, so we don't really have to cut too many people. Emory Jones, Clayton Toon, do they make... I think we just move them both to practice squad. I think we just stick with two at the moment. If I have to move a third quarterback up, we will. Running backs, I'm fine keeping every one of them. I think Jackson's going to make the team. Uh, the free he'll he'll the free agent pickup will stay on this team. Wide receiver. Mm, I guess move Palmer to practice squad and maybe Jimmy Horn Jr. as well. Yeah. We'll move him, and I think everybody else is good. We're gonna keep five receivers there. Tight end, Higgins, we can move to practice squad, I think. Everybody else is good. Line, I think we'll be solid. You know, we're not going to cut anybody at all. All right, let's get the defense. Mm, did we move stills to practice squad? I think we'll do that. Everybody's good there. Outside linebacker, we're good. Middle linebacker, I think Buchanan stays. Popo stays. Okay, Asante, we're going to move to the practice squad. Luketa, I might just cut. I think we're just going to cut him. Cam Thomas and Bill Carter were good. Corners. All right, we're going to move a bunch of... Jane Davis, practice squad. 
Uh, Hearns the third moving to the practice squad. Starling Thomas. Maybe move him to the practice squad, or do we just keep him on there? I think we'll move him to the practice squad for right now. Cottrell Clark. Hmm. Who's the guy? That's uh, that's like seven corners. I think we're gonna move somebody to the practice squad. I think, or uh, you'd have to, right? Maybe Elijah Jones. I'm trying to look at it here. Let's just move Clark to the practice squad. All right. Let's go to safety. Smith, we could just move to the practice squad. Demerson's going to be there. Yeah, we can move Keydron Smith probably to the practice Or just cut Joey Blunt. We'll just do that. But uh, Keydron Smith, I'm going to go back in and move him to the practice squad. That'll leave 52. So we can always have a spot open for anybody. I still wish in here they had game day, you know, deactives. Because you have to go down to, what, 47. So you got to have at least... You got to deactivate some guys during the uh, game. I wish they had that. But let's look at the schedule. We start Monday night against the Rams. And we got Carolina for a home opener Sunday night. So we got three straight primetime games. San Francisco at home Sunday night. Go to Indianapolis. Come back for a Monday night game against the Falcons. Go down to New Orleans before we hit her. Bye, Seattle. Then at Tampa Bay. At San Francisco. And at Jacksonville. Three games stretched there away. Come back for the Texans. With Green Bay away, then we got a nice home stretch taking on the Rams, Titans, Ravens, Cowboys, and we finish off with the Seattle Seahawks. So at least it's a division game to finish it off. But week one against the Rams, if you can see right there, Justin Fields is now the Los Angeles Rams quarterback. He moves on for Pittsburgh, who drafted Shadur Sanders. So it's going to be a different Rams team. We'll have to watch out for that. We'll see how it rolls, and we'll have week one coming up shortly, but that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support. Hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.